Welcome back everyone, we are here today with another Batania tutorial. Today we're having a look at a wheat farm, and in particular not just any wheat farm, this one's an early game wheat farm, which means we don't actually need any corporea to actually get it to work. It does also work for carrots and potatoes, but they'll be coming in some future tutorials because they work slightly different, but not too much. Today we'll start off with the front setup here, so just one front, and then we'll show you how to get into the square like we've got in front of us now. Here we have our basic layout. We have 9 dirt blocks in a row which have been tilled into farmland, and into the area just above the dirt blocks we have dispensers facing, with hoppers in the back of the dispensers. Underneath the middle dispenser we also have a water source block, and we've just blocked it in with some living rock. Now we have to make the circuit for the minecart to run around, so if we go out one extra block backwards just so that the redstone doesn't mess with the hoppers, we can go and put a rail all the way around with some powered rail at the back, and a redstone block in the middle. The reason I use the hopper minecart is because it seems to be the easiest early game way of getting your items to distribute evenly. The other way would have been using corporea, but that's definitely a bit later in the game. Now we can drop our hopper minecart down and make sure that goes around in circles. Now the next step will be using a mana detector. What this does is it detects whenever a mana burst goes through it. So we can place it just here above the dispensers, and we can run redstone dust right across all these dispensers. Now we're going to craft up the composite lens, make sure you're putting the phantom lens above the warp lens and then your slime next to those, and make sure the product looks like the phantom lens and not the warp lens. Then we jump out of that and place our mana pool down. On top of the mana pool we place a redstone mana spreader, and we place a drum of the wild on top of the redstone mana spreader. Now put your lens on the redstone mana spreader and face it up into the drum of the wild. Then what we're going to do is put our force relays down. So we put a force relay down here and right click on that, then come around to the mana detector, Right click the block below that, now those should be both connected. Then on top of the mana detector place another force relay and right click on that. Then come below the mana pool and put a block down and right click on that so that they are all connected now. So we go ahead and put our open crate above the rail wherever we want on the back here. And next to the open crate we place our hopper hock with a chest on the other side of the hopper hock. Place item frames on each of those, and on this one here with the open crate, place the seeds, and on the one with the chest, place the wheat. Then all that's left to do is we go ahead and plant our seeds down, and we can just give it a test, so drop these seeds, and they should get picked up by the hopper hock, and drop by the item crate. Then we can have a look in these dispensers, and you'll see that each time that the hopper minecart comes around, it gives us one seed, so these are going to be distributed to each of the dispensers evenly. Then go ahead and place some agricarnations around the farm. I recommend at least one agricarnation to speed things up a bit, and if you do use one, you'll need a hovering hourglass with 35 minutes in the hovering hourglass, so that'll be 35 soul sand in that. Here is the layout for the larger farm. You'll notice there's actually a few differences. The first one is that the mana detectors have moved one block to whichever side you've put them on. Another one is that there's now two force relays and two mana detectors. To connect these is pretty similar to what we did on the other ones. So what you do is you connect this force relay to this block here again, and then from this force relay you have to connect to the other side on this block over here. And then after that just come back to the mana spreader to return whatever mana is left. The next big important difference is the fact that we've got this little loop over here for the minecart. The reason we've gone out this far is so that the redstone doesn't interfere with any of the hoppers. And if you have a look it's pretty simple, it just does a loop around here and that's still fast enough for it to go all the way around. Also, we mustn't forget to put the open crate above the rails so that the hopper minecart will be able to pick up all the seeds. There's two last little minor changes. I've added an extra drum of the wild so that we make sure we break up as many of the crops as we can. And then also I've added extra agricarnations per plot. Now, just for demonstration purposes, we've put a block with a button on it instead of the hovering hourglass. All that we'll do is we'll press this button and we should see how the whole mechanism works. When I press the button, the drum of the wild breaks all the crops, then the mana pulse goes through the mana detector and sets off all these dispensers to redispense the seeds. If you guys did find that useful or enjoyable, please do leave a like. Also, stay tuned, we're going to be showing you how to make a cake farm and this big monster in front of us. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.